Hey, my name is Brent with Cloudy with a Chance of Meeples, and today we are going to do another video review. Are you a fan of Scrabble? Are you a fan of creating words, getting a handful of letters, and trying to come up with the, the best word? Well, today we're going to take a look at a game from Breaking Games. It plays two to five players, and it was published in 2015, designed by Brad Brooks. It is the game Letter Tycoon. Okay, so here is the radar overview for Letter Tycoon. Setting up, pretty easy. You put all the letter patterns, A to Z, out on the table for all the players to be able to see. You put then the stocks worth one and three. You also then put the coins, so stacks of wooden coins, you put them there. You shuffle all the factory cards, deal out seven to each player. Everybody gets a little player aid. This has the, uh, there we go, um, just the letter frequency on the one side, and then just the scoring to know uh, how to score, how big the word you make, how many points you get, or how many stocks, dollars, whatever you want to have, whatever you say. So, you get a starting player, and they go. On your turn, you can do one of two things. One thing you'll do more than uh, the other. The, the most common thing is you will build a word with your hand and with the, uh, the common letters here. So let's say this was uh, my hand as along with uh, the common letters. So as I look at this, these 10 letters, I can make a word and uh, you know what? G, R, E, E, and green. Perfect. Five letter word. So then I look at the little scoring uh, card. Five letter word will get me three dollars. So I take my three dollars and then I look at any of these letters. And if the patents are still available, then I can purchase a patent from one of these letters. So the only one that I can afford is the G right here in the bottom corner. It says it costs three dollars. So I look at the top, look at all the other patents and look at that. The G's available. I buy that. I return the, the money to just the general pool. And I take this patent card in front of me. And for the rest of the game, any time one of my opponents spells a word using the letter G, I gain $1 for each letter. So I would discard these cards into a discard pile. At that point, I have four cards left. I can then choose to discard any of these. So let's just say I discard the D, I don't want that. And then I once again draw up to seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We, you then do the community pool as well. And I think you actually do this first. Um, yeah, I have to uh, double check the rules for that. But regardless, you do that. And then it's the next player's turn. Say it comes back around to my turn and I look at these cards and I'm like, oh man, I don't really want any of these cards. So the second option you can do, instead of making a word, you can then discard any cards from your hand. So maybe I just want to uh, discard these four. I draw back up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, um, and then that would be my turn. You keep going around until, depending on how many players you're playing with in a two player game, um, you go until the first player to come up with uh, $45 in patents, um, that would trigger the end game. And in patents, not dollars, so $3 worth of patents here. One thing I also forgot to mention is this cool little first player marker. Wee! I got a Zeppelin! For all you uh, Christmas Story fans out there. But yes, that is how you play Letter Tycoon. Okay, so the final forecast for Letter Tycoon. A couple things uh, right off the bat that I really love about the game. I love the components. Um, breaking, breaking Games could have easily just uh, done what many companies do, put cardboard tokens in. But they took the, the extra TLC and uh, they put the wooden tokens in. I just, there's something about feeling wooden tokens and you just sit there, you know, someone's making a word and you're just like clicking your, uh, your money and really annoying them and maybe they make a, a poor choice. I don't know. I, I don't do it, not speaking from experience, but anyways, um, I, I love the wooden tokens. Um, cards look good. I love the um, the graphic design 
work on these cards. Um, so every card, if you saw in the overview, they all have a different factory. So the G is uh, maybe a grain elevator. The B is a bottling factory. I think that's really, really cool. Um, because if you look at the special ability for the B, it's got a little bottle cap on there. So just a little connection on that, I think is really, really cool. Um, uh, a little Zeppelin, come on, let's be honest. A little Zeppelin for first player marker. And just, yeah, overall components, super cool, super nice. Uh, I love how easy the game is to set up. You pretty much just put out all the patents, um, put the coins, the stocks down, shuffle the factory cards, deal out seven to each player, make a community, and a community deck of our community row of three cards and and you're ready to go i really love that so from that standpoint it just draw it draw it drew me in i, I really like that um uh next i like this the special powers so the special powers as you saw some of the more like um uncommon letters that you would that you use to spell words are, are some of the uncommon letters. So, for example, the B, I have this one. Uh, it costs two bucks to buy, and then you earn double if your word begins and ends in vowels. So you think of a word like above, um, uh, erase, yeah. Yeah, erase, just, I don't know, just different things, and lets you just score extra points. So I, I like that, and kind of whenever you're playing the game, and you get one of these letters that there are only one or two of them in the deck and you're like, man, you really rattle your brain to try to come up with a word so that you can use it and then right away buy the patent and set yourself up for future turns. I love that. I just think it's, it's great. Um, and then of course you have like the vowels, the E costs $10, uh, the A costs eight. So the letters that are used more often in words they cost more so it takes you a little longer to gain the the money to buy those but i think they're uh you get a good bang for your buck in that regard um for those who are or are looking at this game saying well like you know i get hosed at scrabble every time so i don't even play scrabble or you know what i mean these maybe people in your friend uh, in your friends group or your family group um are really good at spelling much like my wife um I have a chance in this game and I really, really appreciate that because she's really good at spelling. I'm not so good at spelling and that's all right. But I love this game because I'm challenged to come up with words to buy specific letters so that I know she's going to use those letters and then I'm gonna gain money and then I can just snowball it into uh, buying more patents and then just progress the game along. So I have to say, I really, really like that mentioned the the special abilities um all of them are are two dollars um i've thought after a, a few plays maybe they should have been three dollars uh two seems pretty cheap because if you if you make a four letter word with um let's say the j okay if you make a four letter word the word just uh with j you gain four dollars and then right away you can buy the j and then for the rest of the game you earn double if vowels are at least half your word. I'm just wondering, should that maybe been like $3 so that, you know, you have to make a bigger word with the letter J? I don't know. And, and maybe during play testing, they, they, they obviously just settled on $2 and, and it, it, was, it, it is what it is. I like the other strategy of not just buying specific letters um, that other people are using, but purposely not using letters that other people have. I know in a two player game, it's probably easier than in a three to five player game, but I think that's great. So overall, uh, I have to say, I love this game. Like I really, really love this game. Again, I'm not the best at spelling and things like that, but every game I've had a great time. I know the day we got it, my wife and I, we played it eight days in a row. Like. We just absolutely love this game. She has beat me a lot more times than I have won in this game, but that's beside the point. So overall, if you're looking for um, a spelling game, um, you've, you've done the Bananagrams, you've done the Scrabble, and you're looking for a game that has uh, just a unique twist on um, just coming up with words and things like that, check out Letter Tycoon. It is from Breaking Games, so yeah, check it out.